tiling is the process of cutting something larger than the cutting area of your CNC. Let me show you how to do that. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I want to share with you the process that I take to create a tile for a tiling job. It's going to come from my most recent live stream where I showed you guys how I do that. I actually took you guys through the entire process of creating a custom SVG, creating the custom flag in Carbide Create, and now creating the tiles in Carbide Create as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into that video clip. All right, so now we're here. We're going to go ahead and tile this because this is a larger flag than my the cutting area of my CNC. So I need to group this. This is this is it. I need to now size it accordingly to my grid. At this point now, I do want to size it. So enter your dimensions here. Okay, so this is my final sizing right here. This is how, how it's going to be from now on. So let's make a few copies of this. I am a big, a big advocate for copying your files because you, you never know when you're going to need it again. And you can never have too many, in my opinion. Okay. Tile up. Half of, of 36 is 18. So we need to create some tiles that are 18 inches wide by 19 and a half inches tall. So the width is going to be 18 and a half. And we're going to create two of these. Thank you guys for joining. Um, those of you that are jumping on, I see a few more people on this evening. You came in right, you're coming right on time if you're a Carbide Create user and you need to know how to tile. This is what we're doing now. We've gone through creating this SVG file. We've gone to, uh, we've done now creating the Boolean subtraction, creating our, our perfect stripes now. And now we're creating the tiles for our uh, tiling project. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to cut this section here straight down. This is this is the half point right here. We'll just move this one off for this, to the side right for now just so we can see it better. So look let's look at this uh, image here. Where does it intersect? Where does this tile intersect on my flag? So I have one, two, three, four, five. Looks like five vectors that get intersected by this tile. So this stripe, this stripe, this circle, this circle vector, and then these two down here. So one, two, three, four, five vectors that get intersected. So I need to create five different uh, tiles. So in this case, I already have one, so I need four more. So so this is one of those. Uh, Places where it's like a tile first, it's like the tile first and then the stripes, or the stripes first and then the tile. I think if I remember correctly, it's tile first and then the uh, stripes, but we'll figure it out as we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the Boolean intersection now. That's what we're going to use. We're not subtracting anymore. We're going to intersect. So we're going to select our first tile, our first, oop, and here we go. First mistake already. We have to ungroup everything. We have to ungroup this. Okay, tile, stripe, intersection. Okay. Tile, stripe, intersection. I think I have, the reason why this didn't delete is because I think I have multiple different vectors here on this one. So that was from playing around with it earlier on earlier. So that's what's going on with that. But we can just delete that extra vector once we're done here. So tile, circle vector, intersection. Okay. Tile, stripe, intersection. Okay. Tile, stripe. Intersection, okay. Whoop, hold on a second. We had five inter we had five intersecting vectors. We need to have five plus one because we need that tile, one final tile to be left over. And I forgot about that. So let's do that real quick. If you only do the amount of intersecting vectors, then your your tile will be deleted. So tile 
stripe intersection. Okay. And so, so that final one I just put, now we have it here. So this is our first tile. We can get rid of that one like that because it was just an extra one there. I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to group that because that is my tile now. And I'm going to delete everything here off to the left. And this is why we make copies because this tile is done. I deleted everything, everything to the left of that tile. So now I need to bring this copy and bring it back over here. And we're just going to attach it like that to this. Okay, so now that's the tile for the right hand side. Let's do the, the left hand side now. So it's still one, two, three, four, five intersecting vectors. So we need five plus one. Now we can go a lot faster, right? Now we got it. Oh wait, don't forget to ungroup this. Tile, stripe, intersection. Tile, stripe, intersection. Tile, circle vector, intersection. Tile, stripe, intersection, tile, stripe, intersection. And like I said, I was messing around with this, this one in the past, so I'll just get rid of that like that. Get rid of this here on the right hand side. And now this is our left hand tile. When we bring this other one in, it'll complete the image just like that. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment. If you guys want to show me some love, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next video.